Imagine you had to live within your income without knowing what your income is, without knowing the cost of the products you purchase, and without a bank account to track your spendings. Many individuals want to live an environmentally sustainable life, but this is the situation they find themselves in when they try. For example, I know I need to reduce my carbon emissions, but by how much? What is my current carbon footprint? If I don't eat meat and I live in an energy efficient home with roommates, is it okay for me to fly home and visit my family? The absence of individual level targets and methods for monitoring one's cumulative environmental impact limits the individual's awareness about the impact of their actions and limits their ability to live sustainably. When people are faced with a threatening situation, such as climate change, but feel they can't do anything to solve the problem, they tend to adopt emotion-focused coping responses, such as distraction or denial. While this may avert persistent emotional distress, it also reduces the individual's attention toward, knowledge about, and action on the problem. So, now let's imagine you were asked to live within a carbon budget, but you were provided with a carbon target, the carbon cost of the products you purchase, and a carbon account to track your emissions. These features are present in a policy called personal carbon trading that was investigated by the UK government in 2008. Personal carbon trading is a cap and trade system where individuals are assigned a monthly allocation of carbon emissions. Emissions can be bought and sold on the market, and over time, individual allocations are decreased to meet national targets. My graduate research consisted of an online experiment. The study found that compared to a carbon tax, a policy currently in place in BC, personal carbon trading was better at providing individuals with the knowledge required to reduce their carbon emissions. Compared to a carbon tax, personal carbon trading was also perceived to be more effective at enabling individuals to live sustainably. This would be expected to decrease the need for emotion-focused coping, allowing individuals to pay more attention toward and become more knowledgeable on environmental issues. This could create a culture that supports strong political action on environmental issues. Thank you.